A stand for justice and equality here in Greensboro started when four North Carolina A&T freshmen took a seat. On February 1st, 1960, Izzel Blair, Franklin McCain, Joseph McNeil and David Richmond marched to the Woolworths downtown and asked to be served at the whites only lunch counter. Nearly six months later, their efforts reached a defining moment when the lunch counter desegregated. Today marks the 63rd anniversary of that day. Joining me in studio is, of course, Sandra Hughes beloved longtime WFMY anchor and oh, our it's friend. It's so great to, to see you. <laughs> and Cassandra Williams, Education Programs Coordinator with the International Civil Rights Center yes. and Museum. So great to see you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start with you, Sandra. Walk me through what you walked for on those sit-in marches all those years ago. You were a student at the time when this all was happening. Well, I was a high school student and I heard that these four young men from A&T were going to be marching downtown to sit at the lunch counter at Woolworth. And I thought, well, you know, that's something we ought to do. <laughs> and so I would leave my high school in the afternoon and rush to A&T's campus so I could get in line, you know, with the, with the guys and all the other students who were gonna march downtown. I don't think at that time I realized how much a difference that was gonna make. But at the same time, I knew it was the right thing to do. So, yeah. you know, so that's why I just pushed forward to doing it. It was history in yeah. the making, and you were part of that. Cassandra, this date's significance is why you decided to hold the annual gala, the fundraising gala, tonight this year. Talk about some of the highlights and what you're hoping to do and who you're going to recognize. Well, certainly with the February 1 date, that was our date for previously the gala. Mm -hmm. But now it is July the 25th, which was the first date that African Americans were served at the lunch counter. Mm -hmm. And those persons were some of the employees who worked right there in mm -hmm. the store. And, and Sandra, you'll be receiving the Trailblazer Award presented mm -hmm. by the museum tonight yes. in front of your community, your family members, your friends, uh, your own granddaughter, who is our intern here, yes. Noelle, just yes. off to the side. I know you are so passionate about inspiring the next generation as a trailblazer. What kind of message do you hope to send? What I'm hoping is that if there's something going on in your life mm -hmm. that you don't think is fair, and lots of other people don't think it's fair, it's time for you to <clears throat> step forward yeah. and do something about it. I honestly had no idea what kind of impact we were making when we were marching downtown yeah. back in, in the, the old days, so to speak. But I understand now that what that meant was you've got to get out there and you've got to do something mm -hmm. that's not only going to help you and benefit you, but going to make everybody in your life, in your world, mm -hmm. move forward. Yeah, you did that. You broke barriers all over for women in journalism as yes. well. Mm -hmm. Cassandra, talk about the fundraising goal for this year's gala and how it will support education programs to inspire the next generation mm -hmm. through the museum's work. We certainly do want to inspire young people. We have to realize that those who marched and sat at the lunch yeah. counter were youngsters. They were teenagers, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> and we want to inspire this next generation. A lot of the funding that will come from this gala tonight will go toward our educational programming. We love it when we get students who arrive by busloads to come to the museum and to hear their gasps when they say, mm. is this the real Woolworths store? Is this yeah. the real lunch <laughs> counter? Yeah. So yes. it's an experience with history and we want to continue that from our funding goals tonight. A symbol of justice and equality. Yes. And, and you absolutely. know, I want to say to the youngsters out there, um, when you feel something is right, work with it, go yes. for it. Don't yeah. let someone stop you and say, no, don't do that. You can't do that. Yeah. You need to, and I don't mean be crazy about it <laughs> and, yeah. and go berserk, but at least keep, keep your path going yes. for something like, that you believe is the right thing to do and the right thing, not just for you, but yeah. for all the people around you. Mm -hmm. Follow your heart yes, and make a absolutely. difference. Thank you both so much. And thank congratulations, you. Sandra, on oh, your award yes, tonight. Yes, those awards. Thank you. The gala, if you're interested, is tonight from 6 to 8 at the Quarry Convention Center in Greensboro. Tables are sold out. There are a few individual seats. You can watch the gala live as well by purchasing virtual tickets for $50 each. I've linked you to the ticket page on WFMYNews2.com.